Welcome back fellow prospectors and here is another video in our video series. Today we're focusing on orders and order limits. Let's get started. This will be a pretty straightforward video. We're going to start off finding our workers which are on our own plot and we're going to talk about the different types of orders that you can do. When it comes to uh, job orders, you will actually see them on the little sign to your right. We don't have any job orders on this plot for people to do, um, like mining or transportation or anything, so we're going to go ahead and set some up. Alright, so how about we set up a mining job to begin with. So we're going to click on our clay resource here. and click on create an order. Here we will put in how much we want to pay per minute and how many minutes we want to hire someone for in order to mine this resource for us. Once finished, hit create. You will automatically see it show up under the orders tab here. And we're going to go ahead and set up another job for our gold resource. Now, if you go to orders here again, you'll see it, and we can now go and view both jobs that are currently posted on our job order board. Now, in order to cancel a job, you actually have to go back to the resource and the orders tab, and then just click on the little trash can. So we're gonna cancel both of these jobs for mining. You can also edit it, and you can change the parameters, like how much you would like to pay, how many minutes, move it up, down, it's completely up to you. Okay, so now let's say we wanna set up a transportation order. Okay, we're gonna click on our storage, and then click the second tab, which is transfers, and click transfer. You're going to choose the location or the plot that you want it to go to. I'm just gonna pull one up here of a friend. Put in the price per weight or per kilometer and the amount and then of course it calculates the distance for you and how much the cost of that would be. Press create and there we are and it now shows up under transfers tabs where you can edit it or delete it at any time and again it'll show up on the little job orders board. In order to change this we have to go back and delete it from the storage. So how about we look at one of our workers here and we take a look at the manufacturing tab. Okay, there's a whole bunch of different things we can manufacture and if we think about what we have on hand in terms of resources, we have some wood. So I'm going to show you how to manufacture some of those things by hand. So we're going to go ahead and transfer some wood I know that I just need three kilograms of wood in order to start manufacturing a wood beam. Go back to my worker, click on the wood beam, and manufacture. You will now see that it has a countdown saying when it's going to be completed, and if you look in your backpack, it's going to show that there's a wood beam being manufactured at the moment. You cannot stop this process, so once you start it, you're gonna to have to wait until you're done. So another type of order we can do is buying and selling. So if you go to your little store, you can choose to sell some of your resources. So we're going to put that up. Again, choose your price, choose the amount. Press create. And if we were to go into the market, we will actually be able to Choose our resource here from the list and you'll be able to see our current order to sell. Here you're able to edit. Let's say I want to make the price a little lower and you're also able to delete right from this menu as well. Or you can go back into the store and delete it from there on your plot. We can also put buy orders out as well. So these are all the resources and materials you need. We're gonna put a little buy order in here. 
course, how much you want to pay, how many pieces. Now it shows up here as well as if you go to the market and click on the buying tab and of course choose your item to the left, you will see that there is an order out there for people to fill for you. Again, you can edit it or delete it from this menu or go back to the store. Now, in case you're wondering why you would need to buy items, that could be for a multitude of reasons. If you are creating a building, you are building a mine, you are building tools, um, if you have a particular shop where you don't have those resources, you would then be looking to purchase those resources from somewhere else and you'd be able to do that in the market and then of course you would be able to go pick them up at the location that it states which we will cover in another video as well now something to keep in mind when you are making orders is that you are allowed 10 sales orders 10 buying orders and 10 job active orders on one plot at a time you're actually only allowed 16 active job orders throughout all your plots. So that's something to keep in mind when you're thinking about putting job orders and other orders up. Stay tuned for our next video where we will discuss even more. Don't forget to hit subscribe so that you can keep up to date on all our latest videos. This video has been narrated by Jenny of EOS Very Cool.